It is an unsettling time. We are here together. For those who can come visit us, our door is open as usual. For those who cannot travel, we bring our gallery to you. As we believe art can help ease our anxiety, art can lift our spirit. Turn on a light. Let show begin. We started our show with Kawai Kanjiro, a well-known Mingyi artist. This distinctive Neriyagi jar has a high rounded foot, a diamond-shaped mouth, and a fully developed belly. Looks massive. It is well balanced. I so wish you could feel it, handle it. It is a fit, solid piece, like the artist himself physically. This British-inspired picture is almost 16 inches tall. The picture is chilled with running pale blue glaze. Like expression of cold water. Looking close, we can see Kato-san's process of making. He made a tall body first, and then he faceted surface decisively. Then he added a proud spout with an easy to handle grip. Though not practical, he certainly breaks the mold of porcelain making. He adds violence, or what do you say, decisiveness, to this porcelain work. That becomes his signature. Morino Taiman Sensei is a well-established Japanese ceramic artist. Here we have for you. A masterpiece by this artist: a rust red iron glazed square jar. It is as high as 13 inches, almost 12 and a half inches wide. The black paper cuts pattern on the surface reveals Morino's Taiman's early experience in New Mexico. Or rather, they remind us the ironwork of Japanese tanzu. Look at the bottom. The artist brilliantly lifted lower corner of this large lace, so it does not have a heavy feeling sitting there. The sloped shoulder gives this piece a soft touch. You have to see it. See it. To believe how beautiful it is, Hamada Shoji's Tenmoku glazed plate is iconic. It measures 10.7 in diameter. The plate is glazed by two type of iron glaze. Dancing persimmons breaks through the silence. Of dark iron canvas. Kawase Shinobu Sensei named this piece as a ningyo. Translation in English: penguin. A close look at this, you will see a soft, fluffy chest of a penguin. Kawase's stoneware is so thin. And his celadon glaze is perfect, really in the tradition of Chinese songware. And look at the finish, the mouth of this penguin vase. What does that remind you? The spring flower is blooming. Higashida Sensei's Oribe box is a technical marvel. He has to put two pieces in the same time 
fired in a kiln. An exuberant olive glaze overshower the whole piece. Some are deeper green, and some are lighter green. The better thing about this is the just position of roughness and smoothness. See how the clay goes. Don't you feel you want to touch it? Come to the gallery and feel it. Feel the earth, and feel the nature. Moriyama Kanjiro-san is following the steps of great masters. He is a potter in a ceramic sculpture scene. The piece started as a wheel-thrown large cylinder. He sliced open the piece and then reconstruct them. The glaze is also well done. Some are more coarse, some are more smooth, so you can see the contrast between the two kind of glaze. Better yet, the cylinder inside really invites a bottle with a flower growing inside. Try that at home; you will be amazed. <laughs>